What is going on subs? Welcome back to another modding tutorial. Last week we did, last time we did a how to import your models after you got them through SketchUp. Well, we took a step ahead so now we're going to go back and do this process. So you have picking a model, which we have picked a Chevy. What is this? Is that a 3500? 3, yeah, 3500 uh, Duramax. I just picked up a random model. Actually, it looks pretty nice the lifts off a little bit so you get it in you're going to right click explode hit explode again and then you're going to click up to your pointer you want to take the wheels off on every model I'm actually going to save a wheel just because I want one uh, let's just put it off in the distance. If you want to save a wheel, that's what you got to do. And then highlight it again, and then you're just going to explode it from here. If you want a movable uh, steering wheel, then you take the steering wheel out if you're into that. Uh, when you do models, watch for uh, soft um, edges. You don't want those at all. And then sometimes SketchUp will be slow it looks like we did get some when you get these little lines come up here undo and then just explode you'll get past so you're gonna find models that will have a ton and then the one that sets the bar off the most that will just trash a model is if you paint that door and the whole thing paints it doesn't separate from the window it's no good and I'll have a video of showing you guys what that looks like. There is one particular model out there that will do that. It, it sucks. Just keep exploding it until it's all exploded. If you don't all explode it, when you go to join it in Blender, that thing is going to go poof. And it's going to be a like, it's going to go big. Let's make sure there's no soft edges. So depending on the model, you're exploding, you can do it five or six times, you're going to do it ten times, it just depends on the model. And then if you want an interior, which everybody's all about interiors, you want to paint these windows some color that there's not on the truck. If I paint the windows and the headlights the same color in GE, that's what it's going to change. Both of them. It's not going to change separate ones. Your color is going to contrast what it changes. If you have one of the same color on two different parts, it's going to change it all. Alright, so this is a good model. So, we're just going to paint it a different color. Don't matter what you paint it. I advise changing all the textures if you want to. Get rid of all this diamond plate, all the materials. For SketchUp, this is a good looking model and then if you guys know how to do chrome you would paint this a different color and do chrome I'm just gonna leave it not really familiar with chrome but and then let's check out the interior and then we gotta paint the windows so this one has no interior so what I would do is just leave it or you can just simply change it black. But if it had an interior, if you want to put one in, take the extra time to export an interior out, that's what you do. So you want to get rid of all these materials because the game does not like it. 
So I've just painted a different color. Don't matter. This is like your primer. So make sure you take the wheels off if you want to save the wheel. Save it. So when you go to export, um, well, I get this wheel um, all exploded. Uh, SketchUp wants to be a little slow today. Alright, so there's your wheel all exploded I like these rims I like the tire so we'll take this and delete it I'll come back for it later all right, so let's make sure you're all exploded alright good go to file export with 3d model um, if you have textures that you really like to take out Go to options, make sure you export textures, maps. We'll make a make this Chevy. Oops, put an E there instead. Chevy 3500. Chevy 3500. And then let it export. And then uh, you can get Blender and Steam. If you don't know what Steam is, this is Steam right here. So we'll take Blender. You can get it just from the website if you want to. I trust the Steam version. So I'm going to go to File, Import, your first one. Uh, where are we at? Chevy 3500. Take this file right here. And then you're going to click Double A. To select everything, join, set origin to the first one. So here's your model, all nice and pretty. Looks pretty good. I don't know why that's that little stripe, but that's probably how they made the glass. And then you're going to go file, export. Um, in your local files of Farming Simulator, uh, look for the STK folder, and it's going to have a Blender um, i3D exporter uh, plugin. You have to activate that. You go through the steps. Pretty easy to do. If you guys ever need help with that, uh, just let me know. And then you're just going to name it Chevy. 3500 export all right you can close out of that and go to here documents uh, Chevy 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 3500 here are some of your textures and then here is the Chevy there you go so it's that nice gray you can keep this just add a cute map into it or you can change the colors so that's it for the video um, if you guys need help with anything just let me know here to help as always, uh, make sure you remove that rigid body. Always do that. And we'll see you guys in the next video.